All right, welcome back. This is Frank DeMore with The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth. Today's February 16th, 2011, and uh, we're on the subject of the call for peace and safety in Psalm 83. This is the war that the neighboring nations around Israel will be attacking Israel in the near future. Uh, they will be destroyed, as the scriptures plainly show us, but then also you have to look at Iran who was not mentioned in the Psalm 83 war but they are definitely an enemy of Israel. The Iranians are mentioned in Ezekiel chapter 38 as being major players in the war against Israel during the last days where Russia actually leads the war they will take Turkey, uh, Iran, Libya, uh, and if you've just watched the last three days in the news, you've seen that these countries are all coming into focus. I mean, they are doing, uh, making new pacts between Iran and, and uh, Turkey. We've seen now, I want to concentrate on Iran because Iran is uh, making moves that could launch a uh, another war. And let me get into that. I'm going to quote what the news came out today. It says, Israel is monitoring two Iranian warships about to pass through the Suez Canal for Syria and warn they might act. I'm going to stop right here for a second because this is really important. If they do this, it will be an act of war and we could see conflict start even quicker than we all anticipated. Now it is important that there be steaming towards Syria because Syria is also mentioned in the Psalm 83 war and Syria is also mentioned in Isaiah 17.1 as being uh, the city, the uh, capital D Damascus being destroyed and left in ruins and heaps. Uh, Isaiah 17.1 shows us that. And then in Jeremiah chapter 49 uh, you could start reading from verse 24 to go to 27 you see Syria being destroyed so if the Iranians move their warship and it goes through the Suez Canal and steams towards Syria and Israel does stop them we may see conflict a lot quicker as I said than we ever anticipated let me go on here it says the Israeli Navy will be tracking the two warships as they cross the Suez Canal for the Mediterranean Sea, according to the defense officials. Israel's foreign minister, Evadar Lieberman, says that Israel cannot ignore these provocations, according to the YNETnews.com. Now, in another reporting report concerning Lieberman's statements, I'm going to read you what that said. It said, and I quote, He added that sending the warships was a provocation that proves Iran's nerve and self-esteem is growing from day to day. Lieberman called on the international community to understand that Israel cannot ignore these provocations forever. In other words, Israel has been giving Iran and the world warnings that they're going to have to do something to stop Iran because Iran uh, and specifically uh, Mohammed Ahmadinejad has been saying that he his goal is to wipe Israel off the face of the earth and Israel has taken this threat very very seriously and if Iran does make these moves into the Suez Canal to go to Syria Man, this is going to be like John F. Kennedy dealing with the Russians who went and took their ships into Cuba with the Cuban, Cuban crisis. So these are events that could be played out now um, and, very, and very important events that may be played out soon. We don't know if it's actually going to happen, but you know they're warning. Both sides are warning. But here's the bottom line to this, and I'm going to end it with this is that we see in scripture that these nations will be attacking Israel and so when we see these kinds of provocations coming against Israel it just makes you stand up and take notice because sooner or later these wars will be fought and in all the indications considering that everything else is happening at the same time we're looking for these prophecies to be, be fulfilled sooner than later that's for sure now, if you're unaware of these prophecies, you can do one of two things. 
get into a church who teaches verse by verse all the way through the Bible so you learn uh, not just about prophecy but you learn about our loving Lord Jesus Christ who wants to save everyone uh, obviously that isn't going to happen because many people discard the, the salvation message of Jesus Christ the good news and they go in a different direction that's going to end them up in a place they don't want to go and that would be hell away from the Lord Jesus Christ or you can uh, you can study you know first of all I recommend you study the Bible uh, know the word of the Lord and the Lord by his Holy Spirit if you're knocking at the door and you're searching the Lord told us he is going to show you the way and uh, or you can go on the internet and there's a lot of uh, you could do a Google search for Bible studies but make sure that you're going in to a, uh, a study that is a good study you want to stay I'll be honest with you right now you want to stay away from uh, teachings of the of the Mormons be, and the Jehovah's Witnesses uh, primarily because the Lord through Paul the Apostle wrote Galatians that if anyone comes to you preaching another gospel than that which we have given to you let him be accursed and so I say again if anyone preaches any other gospel than that which we have given to you let him be accursed as a matter of fact uh, in the process of him saying that twice, he mentions if an, even if an angel come out of heaven to preach another gospel, then that which we have given to you, let it be accursed. And so the Jehovah's Witnesses and the Mormons are well known for having angels come down and they hold different gospels. They do not see Jesus Christ as being the almighty Lord. They have, they're under polytheism and all kinds of weird uh, documents and prophecies and, and false uh, teachings so you really need to know what the Bible has to say and uh, so I recommend you get into a good fellowship uh, if you're in the areas I, I do know that uh, if you're living in an area where there's a Calvary Chapel I would recommend that you check out those churches I haven't been in any of the Calvary chapels that, that wasn't right on and they are, you know, they teach verse by verse all the way through the Bible. As a matter of fact, you can get their teachings online. You could study verse by verse right there at home and at your own leisure. But it's important for fellowship because, in, I believe it's in Hebrews, the Lord said, Don't forsake the gathering of saints, especially as you see that day approaching. And there isn't a question like news that we're seeing about Iran and the, the problem. Uh, that they're causing for the Israelis these this is news showing us that that day is approaching so thanks again for letting me into your home and and to uh, connect the dots for you between current events and Bible prophecy and please take take up my offer and and to get my book for free right there at the website www.bibleprophecyman.com thank you